Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of order of operations and prime factorization. This is standard 6.7a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 34 of the 2022 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have an expression, and we need to find which expression is equivalent to this 1,000 plus 196. And it might look like we need to do prime factorization, but if you take a look, all of these are composite numbers. Uh, that's the only prime numbers I see that's 7. Everything else is composite. So really, instead of prime factorization, I think we need to use order of operations. So we're just going to need to take each of those and see which one can get us up to that 1,000 plus 196. All right, so please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. means we are looking first for parentheses. I'm going to put a little line there and say that's the first thing we do. I don't see any parentheses. I do see some exponents. So we need exponents. Next. Now here's the interesting thing. Is that multiplication and division are equal. They are inverse operations. So left to right, if you see division before multiplication, do it. They're the same. And then same thing with the add and subtract. Inverse operations, they're the weakest, so we do those last. So let's just look at f. Okay, so I've got 10 squared plus 7 times 28. So I see an exponent, I see an addition, and I see a multiplication. So using our order of operations, we're going to take care of this exponent first. So 10 squared uh, really just means 10 times 10, right? And then plus 7 times 28. So let's go ahead and take care of our multiplications here, right? I've got 10 times 10, that's 100, plus, and then I need to do 7 times 28, 56. Okay, well, I I got the 196 on F right here. Um, but I didn't get the 1,000. I got the 100. So that looks like a no. Let's check G. Uh, 10, ooh, 10 to the third plus 14 squared. Okay, I've got two different exponents. Take care of these ones first. Then I'll add at the very end. So 10 to the third means 10 times itself three times. 10 times 10 times 10. That's what that means. And then plus 14 squared just means 14 times itself. 14 times 14. All right, so 10 times 10 is 100. 10 100s makes, all right, 1,000. Okay, so that's good news. Let's check my 14 times 14, that's 16, 56, 0, 14, hey, there we go, 196, 1,000 plus 196, okay, I'm liking G, wow, look at H, I can already tell you H is going to have problems, look at H, 100 cubed, plus 7 times 28. Well, I can already tell you that 7 times 28 is 196, so that's good, because we did that right here. So what does 100 cubed mean? It means 100 times 100 times 100. So 100 times 100 means you get four zeros, and then you multiply that by another 100, means you're going to get, wow, a million Okay, so H is incorrect. Uh, way too many zeros. Let's check J. Uh, we already know this 14 squared is correct. So we're just looking at this 100 squared. That's 100 times 100. And I'm just adding zeros is what I'm doing. One, the two ones multiply, make one, and I've got four zeros. So too many zeros. One too many. So my answer here is G.